Mark Alexander versus Deshaun Harris. Get ready because it's all going down live here on our parking Carter channel. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Yes, finally the game about to start. Hopefully Mark Alexander and my Wizards get this win at home tonight. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Homeless Gun, but y'all can just call me Sean. Here in the Sweet 16 of the Sports Commentators March Madness Tournament. Y'all already know I'm here to win, so let's get straight into the commentary. As you see Mark Alexander playing defense on Deshaun, but Deshaun calls for a screen, stopping at the three, pulls up, and he's catching up from behind the arc. Putting up the first points of the game with that three. But here's the matchup everybody is looking forward to. Mark Alexander versus Deshaun Harris. Shot clock is winding down. Two seconds left. Mark is in the corner pulling up for a crazy shot. And he gets it to go in. Getting the three of his own. But John Wallace coming down. Heading into a lot of traffic. And look at that behind the head pass to a Mecca Okafor. And John Wall picks up his first dime slash assist of this game. Mark Alexander calling for that isolation. He's putting some moves on Rubio. Getting another spin. Heading into the pay. Getting that baseline reverse. First. Oh my goodness, Mark with the baseline reverse dunk. Deshaun can't handle him. Get him off the court, coach. The Wizards have the lead by five points. Deshaun is calling for an isolation. They're getting a little physical with the bump in. Deshaun goes up for a fadeaway. Great defense by Mark Alexander, but better offense by Deshaun Harris. And look at the space Pekovic is giving John Wall. John Wall go ahead and pulls this up, and he's catching up from downtown. Don't you ever leave John Wall that open. And here we go, the matchup of the day. Mark Alexander versus Deshaun Harris once again. Mark get past Deshaun. He's going up with a one-hand jam. The one hand jam from Mark Alexander getting by Deshaun. That was a great play, but Deshaun's calling for the screen for Karolinko. They're double teaming him. He's getting by the double team, going in with his own one hand slam, telling Mark Alexander, whatever you can do, I can do better. And look at this Nike Plus replay. Deshaun getting that 29.6 vertical on that dunk. And now the Wizards have the lead by six points, but Trevor Ariza could not make that 11 foot jump shot. And Deshaun Harris is coming down the court, throwing that alley to Derek Williams. Getting another assist in this game, and we're at the end of the second quarter. Deshaun gets the ball. He pulls up just in time, but he misses the shot, and we'll be seeing y'all in the next quarter. Okay, okay, I'm feeling this. We got to keep this going in the second half. We got to finish this game strong. And we are now in the second half, but look at the score. The Wizards only have a one-point lead right now. Shot clock is winding down. Deshaun gets the ball and gets it off just in time. And the Timberwolves take the lead for just the second time in tonight's game. Rubio gets it off to Chase Bundiger. Bundiger calling for a screen. He gets the screen, stops at the three, pulls up, and he's catching out from downtown. And with a little bit over a minute left to go in the third quarter, we are now tied up at 52 apiece. Deshaun gets the spin move off on Mark Alexander, hitting him with the Euro layup. And to make sure he gets the two points, he is using that friendly backboard and once again Deshaun Harris getting a spin move hitting him with another Euro and he's getting another two points with that layup and here is a bad matchup but Mecca Okafor and Deshaun Harris Deshaun Harris abused it getting the reverse dunk Deshaun Harris does not care he would do anything to get the win tonight if he got a dunk on midgets Yao Ming he would do it with that 27.7 vertical and we are now in the fourth quarter, and the shot clock is winding down. Look at the moves. Look at that step back. Deshaun pulls up, and that's Cash Whip with a splash, boy. And there's less than 30 seconds on the shot clock. And look at this poor defense by Rubio. He leaves John Wall wide open, and John Wall knocks down another important three. And the Wizards is up by two. Timberwolves need a three-pointer to win this game. Deshaun is not passing the ball. He takes up a three, and he gets the buckets. The Wizards are down by one point with five seconds left on the shot clock. They Pass it off to Mark Alexander. Shot clock is winding down. Two seconds left. Mark Alexander pulls up for a three, and he does not get it. And the Timberwolves take this one. They will be coming out victorious in this game. Great game, but Deshaun is just too clutch. <laughs> we, we, we lost. <laughs> Take a look at my team, Tim Hardaway, he's a great scorer and a great passer. Even though he's new, he's a premier player. Then there's Blake Griffin, he's Tim Hardaway's go-to guy. We all know what Blake is capable of doing when you put him on the same team with the excellent passer. Now let's look at his team, he has LeBron James, hands down the best player in the NBA right now. If we're not careful, he's going to attack the rim at will and have us looking like Jason Terry. 
Then there's the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. You pretty much have an idea of what he plans on doing, so let's get to it. Now that you have a better understanding of his team and my team, I try to apply that defensive pressure to Kobe, but Kobe could care less. LeBron guarding Steve Kerr, Steve Kerr with the wide open look. Not too often will you see Steve Kerr miss a wide open shot. And what do you know, LeBron being LeBron finishing strong. Joe Green with the open lane, he got there before me. Okay, great defense, but I see Tim Hardaway with the wide open three. Where the defense go? Kobe Bryant, this is sloppy defense right here. We let Kobe Bryant knock down that easy jumper. So I'm like, okay, fool me once, fool me twice. So here we hit him with a double team, but we forgot all about JaVale McGee, making this a two-point game. Look at Mr. Crossover. Chris Paul doesn't know what to do with them. I'm wide open draining that. Okay, he sees Brooks. Brooks sees Kobe. Not today. Tim Hardaway just snatches it like it's nothing. You know what time it is. I see the right hand man going up doing what he does best. That's Blake Griffin for you. I already told you, so don't act surprised. I'm giving it back to Tim Hardaway. Who do you see cutting? Another oop from old school to new school. Blake Griffin goes up with the one hand slam. Now that's a momentum changer. I see Joe Green in the corner like a prostitute. He goes up, but he's like, get that out of here. So I know right off the bat, I gotta change my lineup. My people must be tired. And what do you know? Kobe Bryant drains it yet again. Ooh, he shacked in the fool out there. Okay, I see the time winding down. This quarter is almost over. Patty Mills, it's too deadly not to check me, boy. 1.5 seconds left. Who is he giving it to? He gives it to Austin Rivers from half court. As you can see, this guy is not going out without a fight. He starts off with the three by Kobe. Kobe misses it. I know he's going to give it to Kobe again, but he went with Chris Paul instead and he drains his three. Poor decision making by me. I have to apply pressure again. I don't know. I guess maybe it messed up in between halves and Chris Paul knocks down a three again. Back to back threes. That's not a good look for us. Oh, damn, Kobe. <laughs> oh my god you good Kobe all right anyways Kobe comes down with it I see it I knew it was coming to him and then Chris Paul knocks it down okay cool so I know what's working for us those oops he cannot stop it I'm using that to my advantage LeBron James goes up for three no good so I'm coming down with Steve Kerr you see Blake Griffin cutting again he's going up yet again he cannot stop it. He absolutely cannot stop it. Chris Paul for yet another three. We all know how cheesy those three-pointers can get in my team. So I try to shoot a three with Tim Hardaway in the corner, but Tim Hardaway misses. If he makes this again, and he does, Chris Paul is not missing any threes. This is not a good look for us. With the screen, I see Blake, but yet now he finally realizes how to stop it. So I have my defense clogging the paint, but he takes the lead in the fourth quarter at that. I have to knock down a three. We need this. Can we get it? We do. We take the lead right back. Very close game. I try to give it to Gerald Green, but Chris Paul tips it. He takes it. LeBron James, he's taking flight. I knew it was coming. I tried to contest it. I tried to stop it, but I had no luck. I knew LeBron James was going to fly off the baseline, so I had to put that D on him. Let's go. Tim Hardaway has only missed one three-pointer this game. And look, Joe Green with the wide open look. He was pretty silent this game. I try to give it back to him so we can get some points on his stat line. He sees Kobe Bryant with a near impossible shot. Wow. That's incredible. But that's Kobe for you. But that doesn't make it okay to start feeling yourself now. Off the fast break, I'm running with Joe Green. I try to throw it off the glass to give it to Joe Green for that sexy oop. But he fouls me. It was a clear path foul, so I'm going to knock down these two, making this game out of reach.